because the drums the drums are given that yeah like the drums were always the drums to me always had this jay dylan nature about them because they were so sloppy and had this like lazy yeah sw- they had a like a swing and like a thing to them This episode is being supported by Tape It. If you currently use voice notes to record your ideas, you should try Tape It instead. We made this song in LA in an Airbnb where we were staying for quite a while. And, you know, it was that very stripped back pair of, you know, Rocket 8s, Focusrite, you know, mic, which was probably an SM7, couple of guitars. Now, what happened when we were in LA last time was there was a blackout for two days which resulted in us having to leave the house we were staying in when we came back someone had broken into the house as they did in you know in in a lot of these areas that got affected and you know we got into the house and they'd smashed the window it was all you know we were like oh man there was a lot you know there there were things in that house and anyway we're looking around to see what's what's left Mm. and strangely and in a very unsettling way everything was there apart from a bass guitar the only thing that got stolen was a squire p bass (laughs) which we had we we'd borrowed from a friend next to the squire p bass was a 1970s gibson les paul which didn't get touched. So it was all very strange. And the person that stole the guitar definitely stole the wrong guitar. Um, and it basically meant that when we came to to make a song like this, I didn't have a bass. So uh, all I had was a guitar and some drum breaks and loops. And that was kind of how the song started. I'm just sat, you know, dropping drum loop after drum sound after until i kind of built this wall of drums because just to set the scene it's like we're working at that at this moment in the kitchen yeah obviously. on a count on a kitchen, on a kitchen counter. counter in la with tiny krks i wish we could like give you a photo i have a photo like of the cell it's just like just an anti setup. <laughs> yeah 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 you know so not like a studio no whatsoever. the opposite oh, the and the opposite. acoustics are ter- everything's the just terrible though you can hit the fridges and yeah you know, right you yeah know, like, <laughs> it's like that one of my friends might just walk in you know it's a few of us saying in this house you know like that's part of the setting for this vibe it's like i'm saying to people yo come out i got a room for you to come so like that was the vibe so like someone might just you know open yeah. a door in the middle of a verse yeah or, right you know it's not ideal but but it worked and I think it kind of, it helped the energy of these songs and how they got made a lot of the time. And also like, you know, we're in LA at that time. Like, I'm just like, there was just a certain energy in the house and like, you know, probably like more alcohol was being drunk. We, were, Everyone in the house is working out every day. But like around that time, we're like in this thing of like having like glasses of tequila, like just like, for the sake of it kind of thing so like which by the way is not something that we ever do in so a musical environment in the studio yeah. it's just not how we've ever really worked ever or... ever ever but like we're just ha- we're just in this different mode and just like me and my friend are stoned beyond belief <laughs> that doesn't smoke but he probably was high anyway 100%. and i don't know if i could and so we were just super 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 stoned but in the mood to be creative, though, too. So that is painting the picture. That's yeah, we've the got picture. A sense of this this kitchen setup, smoke filled kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, amazing. So you're playing around with the beats, and the beats kind of start it. Then the beats started, and I've just started layering guitars over it. And there's only really two guitars, um, and that's it. And I can I can show you where the drums started and where they went. 
This episode is being supported by Tape It. If you, like so many of our guests, use voice notes to capture your ideas, you are going to love Tape It. It is the iPhone recording app designed specifically for musicians and songwriters. With Tape It, you can record straight from your lock screen, set markers, add notes, and even include photos of settings. Plus, there's Cloud Sync, you can import your old voice notes, and to stay on top of it all, Tape It has great labeling features like automatic instrument detection. And all of the above is free. If you currently use voice notes, switching to Tape It is a no-brainer. But that's not all. Tape It has the option to upgrade to using two microphones on your iPhone, along with gentler dynamic compression to give a much more natural sound than any of the usual apps. And we have a special offer of a whole month of this high-quality recording for free. Just head to tape.it forward slash tape notes to try it for yourself and see what a difference it makes. It was a product of just putting almost too many drums in the session and it just felt really cool as a result of that it's like it's just everything's pushing too hard and as a result of that we're getting this kind of so kind of starts with this slow four on the floor thing And then it's just whatever other breaks fit with that and help that pocket. And then a couple more kicks that are just kind of adding a bit more swing. And then some toms, some kind of sampled 808 toms um, as well. So that's the beat. And then the guitar that got laid first was this. That's it. And that guitar was, as I said, our friend's um, very nice 1970s Gibson Les Paul, but DI'd into a, into a Scarlet. Um, with logic presets um, and it's a preset setting I think called chicken picking that guitar in isolation there's some reverb on it and also this Abbey Road um, tape vinyl um, simulator which I love I use this on everything it's the best plugin. I put it on guitars, I put it on drums. It just adds so much texture. Um, that guitar, yeah, on it without any of that stuff. It's probably out of tune. I mean it's almost definitely out of tune. <laughs> but you know, it's part of part of what makes it feel like that. And then on top of that guitar, I layered another guitar that I had pitched down. To create your bass. That to create my stolen. bass that had unfortunately been nicked. Had that person not nicked the bass, maybe the song wouldn't have existed. So thanks to that person. Yeah. So so on the record is that first verse, the first verse that you laid yeah, down. Yeah, in the kitchen. In that kitchen on that day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As Tip you had just created yep. this thing. Nothing, nothing changed. I don't we, even... We, let's hear a bit of yeah, that again sure. just so that we can get back in that zone. Should I play it a cappella? Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why you capping like cat? You was almost never there. I don't want you to regret. I just want you to repent. Yeah, I mean, again, in terms of what's on the vocal, there's no pop shield. So you can hear, like, it sounds like a performance. On the chain, there's just that same um API 2500 compressor a bit of EQ the logic one and then this really basic again logic echo which is just doing a, a slap but it's just leaning into that kind of lo-fi thing and that's it there's not there's there's nothing else there's nothing there's no outboard no, nothing like that um but there's something in the muddiness of it 
that is just I don't know, it feels really good. It yeah. suits it. It suits the whole track. Because the drums the drums are given that. Yeah. Like the drums were always the drums to me always had this Jay Dylan nature about them because they were so sloppy and had this like lazy Yeah, sw- they had a, like a swing and like a thing to them. Yeah. Um it had this like it just had something that just like felt super so for the vocal to like match that in this semi I hate the word lo fi, but mm. in this less conventional way was um was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, kind of it, it it's almost like it helps bring the realness of the sentiment mm. of what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It aids what the car is saying. Mm. It all kind of works in harmony and it's all pretty simple. The only thing I would add that I didn't say before, at some point in the song, kind of over halfway through, I do add in a bass, like a synth bass, uh, which is that. And was that done at the same time? Yeah. yeah. Sounds like it could have been played at Plastic People down the road. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, again, like, it's an element that it feels weird to invite this into a song like this that has already, like, a, as he said, like, it's like a melting pot of different worlds, but... You know, it just felt felt good with with that. Mm. So good. It just it just works. Yeah. And that's quite interesting. That's an om- that's omnisphere. I don't actually know what. Yeah, it's just a a triangle wave. It's a really British. Yeah, it a, feels super. It does, yeah, at but, a bass. Yeah, it feels a synth bass. Anyway. Yeah, it's a bit nasty. But like in the nice way. Yeah. And it worked. So although there's that kind of perfectionist part of of me and a lot of other people that would say, you know, you want to make that sound sweeter or make it sound nicer. It's almost just sometimes you just need to get out of the way of, you know, things just feeling a certain way rather than the technicalities. So that's why that's that sounds how it sounds. (laughs) 